Hello and welcome to IPC Tips. Today we're going to learn how to remove synthetic keys in circular references. I'm here with an application. Let's take a look at the data model that has one synthetic key that is causing all the problems. So if we take a look at the uh, main table of the data model, fact internet sales, we'll see that the table is linked to a synthetic table and then to uh, choose uh, tables linked based on that synthetic table. Let's understand why synthetic keys are created and then we'll learn how to remove it. Click is designed to be able to link tables based on the field name. So if two tables have the same field name, like a field exists in two tables, Click will link those tables based on that field. However, Click is only able to link tables based on one field. You cannot link two tables based on more than one field. So when you have tables with more than one field in common, what Click does, it's a workaround to avoid this situation. So let's take a look at this example. We have these two tables ship DT and order DT. They both have several fields in common. So in theory, click should be linking these tables based on those fields. However, as I said, click is not able to. So what click does um, in order to fix this problem is to create a table that works as a link table. It's called a synthetic table. So, if we highlight this portion, we will see that we're linking to this table right here. That's a synthetic table. So, it's called a synthetic table because this table does not exist initially in the data model. That table is fabricated. It's artificially created. So, it's a synthetic. That's why it's called a synthetic table. And the key that links this table to the rest of the data model is called a synthetic key because it's created artificially. So what Click does at the end is internally in memory removes all of these columns from both tables, keep them only in the synthetic table, and then use this artificially created key called synthetic key to link them. So it's a workaround Click does to avoid this limitation of linking tables based on one field only. Synthetic tables and synthetic keys are never welcome to a good data model. They should be always removed for several reasons. One of them, and the main one, is performance. If we reduce the number of links between tables, we increase your data model performance. So now that we understand what is a synthetic table, what is a synthetic key, then we can remove them. So, you should ask your data model two questions in order to understand what is the best technique to remove a synthetic table and to remove a synthetic key. The question number one is, is this the true and correct link that I want between those two tables? Well, let's see. I have shipped uh, DT, which works as a calendar table for shipment date. And I have order DT that works as a calendar table for order date. What is the correct link between those two tables? None. Those tables should not be linked to each other. They should link separately to the fact internet sales table. Because the sales table have two uh, date fields, the order date and the ship date. So they should not be linked one another. The only reason they are being link they're linking is because of the field names in common. So that's the question number one. And then question number two, do the fields in both tables mean the same? Do they have the same meaning? Do they, are they the same field? In this case, they are not. They, each one corresponds to that specific calendar. So if I take, for example, fiscal year, fiscal year in order DT means the order date fiscal year. 
and fiscal year in the ship date means the ship date fiscal year, so they do not mean the same. In that case, what I need to do is rename the fields in both tables or at minimum in one of the tables. So if I rename them, then they will not be linked to one another anymore. This is not the only problem with this data model, but we're going to focus on the synthetic keys removal. So let's switch from data model viewer to the data load editor, where we can check the code and see what is the best strategy to rename those fields. So let's find those two tables. So I can use the search option in click to search for, let's start with the order, DT table. So there we go, that's my table. And then those are all the fields uh, that we have in common with the ship date table. The only exception is the order date key. We have several fields. So one option is rename each one individually and give a different name. Another option is to use a statement called the qualify statement. So the qualify statement, you can list fields that you want to rename. And the way qualify works is by adding the table name in front of the field name. So a field like fiscal year after the qualify will be renamed to order DT dot fiscal year. Now I can specify each one of the fields or I can simply say qualify star. And because it's click script, I need to end my statement with the semicolon. Now, if I do that, I'm renaming every single field. But there is one field that I don't want to rename, auto date key, because I need that key to match the auto date key in the fact table. So then I want to remove that field from my qualify statement. So what I do is in the following line, I can then type the opposite of qualify, which is the unqualified statement. And then I can list my field name. So it's order date key. Let me list order date key here, and then semicolon because that's the end of my statement. So if I run the script now, I am qualifying all of the fields from this table with the exception of order date key. However, the way qualify and unqualify works is that once you place that statement, it affects that code starting on that point going forward to the end of the script. But I don't want this statement to affect anything else after. So what I need to do is once I want to the uh, qualify effect to be finished, I then right here after the load statement of qualify we then can introduce the unqualify statement and set it to be all fields so what i mean by this is now i want my qualify statement effect to end so then i'm unqualifying anything after to this point by doing this i will be already fixing the synthetic key problem because one of those two tables will have the fields renamed. However, I want to do the same with the ship date table because of consistency. So let me search for that table. Name is ship underscore DT. There we go. And then I can do the same qualify star for all fields and unqualify the field that I don't want to qualify which is ship date key semicolon after each statement and at the end of though that block of load unqualify star 
So then I can click load data to see the effect of my changes. So I can click close to my load statement and then let's now switch from data load editor to data model viewer. And then now we no longer have a synthetic table or synthetic key. Or DT table links to the fact and ship date links to the fact. That doesn't fix all the problems in our data model, but that fixed the synthetic key. In the next video, we're gonna watch how can we fix the circle of reference problem that we still have in this data model. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment what you think about this video. Also comment about suggestions of topics that we want us to cover. See you next time.